Thank you. Thank you. Hello and afternoon, SDC. My name is Il Young, and I'm a co-founder and research scientist in Coker. Indeed, it's really a great honor to me to present here, and I'm very excited to have a chance to introduce my company, Coker, uh, to the audience, amazing audience in Samsung Developer Conference. Today, of course, I'm going to talk about my company and its technologies. But before that, I want to talk about the problem we want to solve. Because I believe the service and technologies in Coker is quite a new thing to most of you. So I think that's the easiest way to allow you to understand how important what we are doing is. So what is Coker? In short, Coker is a deep tech AI startup that provides AI services to help you by analyzing sound. I'm sure most of you are already quite familiar with lots of AI services and technologies. And maybe many of you are already actively using them right now, right? So it's already 2024, and we have chatbot, speech recognition, and image and music generation, and autonomous cars. So thanks to recent rapid development, it is true that we are already surrounded by so many amazing AI technologies. Speaking of AI, even though there are so many different kinds of AI services, the ultimate goal of them is, in my opinion, is the same. What we want to make is the automated systems that can analyze or generate any kind of information. So here, any, any kind of information means images, text, or sound, hash data. But today, we're going to talk about the sound, which is the main focus of Coker. Can we really say that current AI system can understand sound? I mean, environmental sound, not speech or music. Let me give you some examples now. So what can AI systems do if your baby is crying, but you cannot hear it? Or what if someone is screaming on the street late at night? What if there are strange noises in your car, and you have no idea what they are? So compared to other domains like images, AI for environmental sound is still a long way to go before it can provide actual application in our daily lives. However, I really want to emphasize that sound is definitely one of the most important sources of information in our life. What I told you in the previous slide and what you can see here are just a few examples of the sounds we can hear every day. So in fact, we can easily list more than 100 kinds of different sounds, maybe even thousands. So by listening to this variety of sounds, we can understand what's happening around us right now, and we can decide how to respond for them. Some sounds will tell you that you have to be careful or you have to avoid them. And some will tell you to pay, some will ask you to pay closer attention for it. Or some shows some good signals, which means that something you really waited for are finally happened. So in addition, sound can reveal what's happening in places you cannot see, like behind you or beyond the walls. And sometimes it also creates the emotions or feels you can experience. At Coker, what we aim to do is empower artificial intelligence to understand and respond based on this type of information from sound. The story of Coker started seven years ago. In 2017, there were just six co-founders in Coker, and we were the graduate students in the same laboratory. So we studied various research topics related with sound analysis and music analysis. And 
the problem was at the time, maybe some of you can remember that AI technology was really fastly developing so fast. And there was so many companies which showcases their amazing applications. So like uh, playing a game of Go or understanding images. But unfortunately, there are almost no companies or services focused on environmental AI. So it was really bad for us, because not only because we knew that the sound AI is a really important topic, but also it means that we, it will be really difficult to continue our study after graduation. However, it also means that maybe you, we can use it as a, our own unique opportunity to be the very first one in this emerging market. So we decided to start Coker, and since then, our technologies and strengths have been, have been recognized in various fields. So it's already been seven years, and while it's still far from enough, the sound AI market is really rapidly growing now. So because we already prepared so early, so we are successfully establishing ourselves and contributing to its expansion. So if you are already familiar about the AI technologies, especially about how to train AI models, then some of you will say, so sound AI is just another type of AI. So we can simply adapt the model from other domains, like image recognition, and you can just change the data to train it. However, it's not really accurate, because sound has its own unique characteristics, such as noise, simultaneous events, or echoes, and many others. So if your models cannot handle these kind of unique characteristics very well, then their behavior will be very sensitive or very unreliable. In addition, sound also has its own way of conveying information. So compared to images, while most information from images come from its shape or colors, the usual sounds are defined by the material of the object and how they interact between each other. So therefore, it is clear that this kind of domain-specific knowledge is really crucial to developing robust and accurate sound AI models. And thankfully, this has become one of Coker's key strengths until now. So as I told you, so then Coker is really one of the very first ones in this market. And as the, one of the very first ones, our goal is not just to improve the accuracy, accuracy of our models, but we really want to make the market of sound AI to be bigger by ourselves. So we aim for our technologies to be applied in almost any kind of situation in many real-world yeah, applications. But to achieve this, we have worked on lowering the barriers to sound AI by making it deployable in any, almost any environment. So if you don't want to be connected to the internet all the time, or if you are considered about some privacy issues or security issues, then we, we can provide the ultra lightweight models that can run on the very small edge devices. If you want to enjoy our high performance of powerful models without worrying about computation, then you can also try our cloud API solutions. So which means from GPU-powered machines to small surveillance cameras, so you can easily access state-of-the-art sound AI anywhere. So if we really can have these amazing sound AI solutions, of course we already have, thanks to Coker. But anyway, where can they be specifically applied? So let me give you some real-world examples now. So the very first one is a nursing home in Japan. 
as you get older, then you can get injured very easily, not only from the serious accident, but sometimes you can get injured even from the most trivial or everyday situations. And depending on your physical conditions, sometimes you may fall to the ground without no obvious reason. So the more important thing is, if that kind of situation happened, then it has to be addressed promptly, or it, lead, it can lead to severe consequences. But the problem is, how can we monitor them 24-7 to check if they are OK or not? Of course, it's really difficult to check them manually, yeah. And you, of course, you cannot ask them to let you know when they need help, because in this kind of situation, they will be unable to move or lose, lose consciousness. And you can consider to use surveillance camera, but seriously, who wants to be recorded 24-7 in their house? Yeah. So the nursing home, people really consider lots of options, and they found that sound recognition can be one of the optimal solutions. And we provide a solution for sound AI based elderly care solutions, such as falls or scream detection. Another example is an auto parts factory in the United States. So after you assemble each part of the vehicle, then sometimes you may hear strange noises from the car. And this kind of noise is it's also really uncomfortable for the user driving ex experience, but it also indicates some quality issues or assembly failure yeah, during the assembly process. But the problem is, this kind of quality problem is not very visible, which means that it is, it is really difficult to detect using cameras or your naked eyes. So even Sometimes even when they are visible, but then it's still extremely difficult or, and very costly to check the inside of the vehicle because it is already assembled. So their previous solution was just to rely on human ears, which means just listen carefully while they are operating the machines. But can you, maybe you can guess the how repetitive and tiring process this task will be. To solve this problem, then we, Cocker, provide the anomaly noise detection system for the inspection process. So we allow them to easily identify which cars have quality issues. Of course, these are not the only ways where sound AI can be applied. And we continue to expand its scope of application. So by detecting violence situation, such as gunshots or screaming, glass breaking, so then we can make our cities more safer. So especially because these kind of crimes often occur in very dark place or somewhere behind the blind spot of the surveillance cameras, then sound AI can be a complement of for that limitation of camera-based city monitoring. Also, in music-related applications, such as music identifications or mood estimations, the user can enjoy a richer listening experience. And another characteristic of sound AI is that microphone can capture sound from all directions and even through the obstructions. So by using these characteristics, then they can be really helpful for the defense systems. Of course, most of them are confidential, so I cannot say that much, but we are trying to collaborate it with them now. And one thing I also want to point out is that sound can be even captured underwater, because usually, usually underwater is really dark, but they have some sound. So it means that it can be used for the very specific purpose, such as detecting 
submarines or torpedoes. So the last thing I want to say today is that we Cocker is still a very small startup. However, from the very early days of the company and until now, we have maintained our strength even against larger and big, biggest companies. So within the companies, we managed close to a thousand type of sounds already, and the number of sound clashes provided in our service is already more than 100. So we recognized the importance of data for, and quality of data and the quantity of data from the very beginning of the company. So we formed our own data team in, in the companies. So for the seven years, we have collected our own database. And as a result, we could successfully collect more than thousands of hours of high quality data, which no competitors have. And we also made the entire sound specific AI training framework because there are lots of open sources for deep learning and AI training frameworks, but most of them are focusing on images or LLM related stuff. So we decided to make our own frameworks only for sound recognition from data collection and data labeling and management and training, evaluation, and deplo deployment. And as a result of all of that, then we achieved the highest accuracy on many public evaluation data set. And even in our internal data set, which consists of the most difficult conditions in the real world data. So for each model we made, we have tested our models with dozens of microphones from high-end ones to the budget ones to ensure they perform our model can perform robustly in any environment. The reason we kept pushing the boundaries of, of our technologies is that the ultimate goal of Cocker is to create a foundation model for sound and to give AI a general listening abilities, and not just a small services recognizing sound. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we started the company seven years ago, and it's already today. So I really hope that one day the sound AI will soon become a part of your everyday and making your everyday experience to be more convenient and safe and enjoyable. So yeah, thank you for listening. So if you are interested or you want to know more about Coker, then there is an exhibition booth over there. So please feel free to visit. Yeah, and please yeah, share the, your idea with me. Thank you. <laughs>